Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julia. And in my last vlog, I talked about how my current training split lately has been the cardio days at F45, which are Monday, Wednesday, Friday, mainly just because I love hanging out with my friends there. And then I've been doing my Tuesday, Thursday leg days at home. Since I have a barbell and heavy plates, I can go pretty heavy, not as heavy as I'd like to go since I don't have a squat rack and it's not exactly safe. But I thought today I would show you guys a super realistic leg day at home, showing you guys my exact quad and glute workout that I have planned for the day. And then I also talked about this on Instagram, but the more and more I have been personal training and the more I have been in the kind of fitness and exercise world, the more I have realized you do not need to overcomplicate things, like literally just stick to the basics, stick to those compound lifts, and you will make so much progress. So without further ado, let's stop chit-chatting and let's get into today's quad and glute focused leg day. Before we get into the actual workout, I just wanna mention I definitely prefer lifting in flat shoes like my APLs. When I was at my brother's house in Colorado, I lifted in my Nike Zoom Pegasus, which are my favorite shoes ever, but not for lifting. It is so important to lift with a shoe that has a flat base. And also, I normally warm up with like a five minute bike ride, but we recently sold our bike. So instead of doing that, I'm gonna do five minutes of running up and down the stairs in my house, and then I'll be back in here for a little bit of an active stretch, and then we'll get into the workout. what my leg days at home have been looking like. Like I said, I really love doing my leg days at home because I can go a little bit heavier and do like the superset style training that I prefer doing when it comes to strength training. And I'm not going as heavy as I would like to, mainly just because 
it's really not safe for me to like clean my barbell with my 45 pound bumper plates on the bar. I don't trust myself enough to do that safely. I don't have a squat rack. I am hoping to have a squat rack sometime soon, wink wink. Um, so very excited about that and very excited about being able to lift as heavy as I would like to lift rather than as heavy as I can safely lift in this bedroom. But great example of a leg day. I'm actually having my post-workout shake now. It's really bad, but I do not like protein shakes when it is cold outside. Like I would much rather just eat like a meal after my workout, but when it's hot like this, it's randomly like 70 degrees here in Pittsburgh and I am loving it, but it's gonna be 30 again tomorrow. But when it is warm like this, I love having like an ice cold post-workout shake afterwards. The post-workout shake that I am obsessed with is the chocolate mint cookie formula one with ignition. This is the post-workout stack. I do a scoop of the formula one and a half scoop of ignition. This is the glycogen replenishment powder. So big fan of that combo. I actually brought it into F45 one time and some of our members tried it and they all loved it. Like the chocolate mint cookie is so good. It tastes like Girl Scout cookie thin mints. So if you like those, you will love this protein powder. The formula one is the rapid assimilation protein. So it's like faster digesting. So it gets to your muscles faster. So that's why it's their post-workout stack. So I'm having this perfect post-workout shake for after a heavy leg day like that. My legs are done. I did finish with five more minutes of stair sprints just to kind of act as a finisher. And holy cow, that was a fantastic workout. Only three supersets, quick five minute warm up, five minute finisher, super simple, nice and effective. And once again, kind of sticking to the basics, sticking to those compound lifts. I found that it's just so much more beneficial than all the random exercises and like jump squats and things like that that I used to add to my workouts just to get my heart rate up. When in reality, if you lift heavy enough, your heart rate will be elevated and it is such a better workout. So that's kind of my new training philosophy, training thoughts over the past few months. I've really been focusing on the basics, the compound lifts and pushing myself in terms of the weight rather than adding in a bunch of random stuff just to get my heart rate up during the workout. I save that for my cardio whenever I choose to throw some cardio into my actual training split. But my strength phase, I really just focus on that strength, focus on lifting heavy, quality form, go to reps, stuff like that. I'm sure you guys have seen tons of my other leg days on my Instagram. They're pretty much the only workouts I've been posting lately because legs are just the best to train. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I highly recommend trying that workout out or write it down. It's probably on my Instagram by now, but if not, it'll be up soon so you guys can save that and do that workout next time you're in the gym to hit legs. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like, make sure you are subscribed, and I will see you all next time. Bye.